If you are overwhelmed by the things that you have to get done, you are often stressed about your work, or you simply have a hard time remembering things that you have to do for your work and personal lives, this video is for you. My life had become more and more hectic as I've got more responsibilities as a startup founder, a lecturer, a coach, and a content creator. I used to be super overwhelmed by the things that I have to handle, but in the last three years, I have developed a system that helped me manage my demanding work and achieve growth in my professional and personal lives. Today, I want to distill everything I've learned and share you the insights to help you effectively manage your tasks and lead a peaceful, productive life. This video is the second part of the Productivity Basics series. If you haven't watched the overview of the five levels of productivity, please check out that one first. But if you are ready, let's get things done. Getting things done is the most fundamental level of productivity because it is the closest to your day-to-day -day action. It is about getting your tasks done in the most efficient way. My framework of getting things done is crop, capture, review, organize, and perform. Let's go into each one. Before you can get things done, you have to know what you should get done. So capturing is a starting point of this whole process. When capturing, you want to consider two C's, complete, and centralize. To make sure that the capturing process is effective, you want to make sure you capture everything that is eating up your mental space. David Allen, who is the author of the Getting Things Done book said, if your mind is empty, it is always ready for anything. It is open to everything. And to have an empty mind, you have to empty the things that you are thinking about somewhere. And that's why the completeness of capturing is so important. Besides completely capture everything, you also want to capture them in one place. Problem I saw with most people is that they capture stuff everywhere. On the post-it notes, sticky notes app, digital and physical notebooks, in the to-do list. And when the time comes to review those things, it is almost impossible to manage. I use the app Things Tree to manage my tasks. There are four ways to capture stuff into things. On my Mac, I use quick add option. On my phone, I tap the back of the phone to quickly add stuff. Press and hold the icon to quickly add items. Or leverage the iOS shortcuts and use Siri to capture the tasks. Please see the links below of how to do these. Once we have captured the items, we have to review them routinely. I do this on daily and weekly basis. At the end of each day, I empty my inbox and my today list. And if there are uncompleted tasks, I schedule them later or simply remove them if I don't think it's important anymore. On a weekly basis, I review the tasks and organize them based on the priorities. I want to emphasize the review step because many times I saw a super clutter inbox that never get empty or a today list with a bunch of things that are not meant to be done today or left over from yesterday. This could happen occasionally, but it shouldn't be your default mode. Otherwise, it creates a lot of anxiety for you. Once we have reviewed the tasks, the next question is how to organize them. While David Allen has already created this diagram to show you how you should manage your tasks, some of the things just didn't work out for me. So I'll show you how I organize my tasks, which includes clean, clarify, and specify. First, you want to clean up your list by getting rid of items that don't need to be here. As I mentioned in the capturing step, you should capture everything that is eating up your mental space. However, after looking at the items, you might decide that this doesn't belong here anymore or it is incomplete. Besides the junk are the two minute just do it items, which are the tasks that take less than two minutes, which you should do them immediately, since managing them will likely take more than two minutes. Now that you have a clean to-do list, next is to clarify what each one means. There are two types of tasks, the one that you can complete in one go and the one that need multiple discontinuous steps to get done. For the tasks that could be done in one session, you should make them as specific as possible. Many researchers suggest that our brains are lazy, and the more we make the task clear, the more likely that our brains want to get it done. I try to use action word and assign duration and the area to the tasks. I also mark the item as important if needed so that in my weekly review, the tasks that are important but not urgent will get surfaced to the top. For the ones that take low brain energy and take less than 10 minutes to get done, I throw them in the errand section so that I can kill them whenever they have spare time. For the things that you cannot get done in one session, you need to create a project and I will immediately create an item called breakdown project and schedule them appropriately. Speaking of scheduling, the last step in organization is to specify a date. 
for urgent tasks I assign to today or other days in this week. For less urgent tasks, I schedule them to next Monday. For day specific tasks or reminders, I will schedule them on a specific days, and the rest I will leave them unscheduled. For the items with no schedule, you need to review them regularly in the weekly review. Otherwise, they are forgotten. Quick tip. For the important and sizable tasks, I block out chunks of time in my calendar to make sure I have the time to get them done. But for other tasks, I might block time to do many of them at once, or simply do them when I have opportunities. Last but not least, once you have organized your tasks, you have to get them done. There are many books and methods in this area, like Feel Good Productivity from Ali Abdal, Deep Work and Slow Productivity from Cal Newport, or techniques like Pomodoro. I'll leave the links in the description for you to check them out. But in general, there are three areas that you want to consider when performing your tasks. First is timing, when to execute them. If you don't know this yet, you should figure this out by taking this survey. I also did an experiment to track my energy level for a couple of months every day in Notion to really see what time of the day I have most energy. I think it is pretty helpful, and I would encourage you to do so. But in general, based on the book "When" by Daniel Pink, he suggests that most important and focused work should be done first half of the day, maybe up until noon or 1 p.m. Creative work should be done in the evening, and the worst time to do anything is in the afternoon. However, if you have to do important work in the afternoon, you should take frequent breaks to restore your energy. Besides, when to do things, where to do them also matters. There is a concept called cathedral effect, which suggests that physical space also influences human thinking. So we can leverage this insight to purposefully choose where to execute your tasks depending on how you want to feel. For example, for a creative work, you might want to execute them at a coffee shop and in a quiet office for an analytical work. Besides when and where to do the task, I think the tools you use also matters. For instance, for a note-taking app, a minimal one like Bear makes you want to write and express yourself, and a structured app like Notion. Makes you want to build stuff. A vibrant mechanical keyboard might make you want to type and even feel more creative. A tool I use for focus work is a Pomodoro timer to help me be more aware of the time that I spend on my work. While I don't use the Pomodoro technique strictly, using the timer helps me be more aware of the time and also create a mini deadline that motivates me to hit. So all in all, use the tools to your advantage and choose them wisely. And that's how I get things done. Productivity is really personal, so you don't have to follow everything. But I hope today you learned something that you can use. If you have any questions, please leave down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.